in one of my previous videos, I told you I was going to compare the Spirit of Mintage, the Spirit of Rock and the Spirit of Metal, the Nano Amps by Hughes and Kettner, to their bigger brother Black Spirit 200. While working on this video, I quickly realized that comparing them all in one video would be too much, so in this one I'm only going for the Spirit of Vintage to keep it short. And we'll get to the other two sometime later, in some other video, maybe, hopefully. Well, depends on your feedback, I guess. We'll find out. This time I'll also be pushing this amp in terms of master volume, because it will be connected to the Captor X by two nodes, uh, loaded with my favorite, uh, one of my favorite impulse responses. In fact, both Spirit of Vintage and the Black Spirit 200 will be connected to Captor through the switcher that you can see below. That is the new device I finally finished building, and the idea is that I can connect up to 12 amps to it, pick one of the amps on the left, pick uh, some other amp on the right, and switch between them using my foot switch under the table. Which means I can quickly and efficiently compare two amps without reconnecting them manually all the time. Spirit of Vintage versus Clean Channel of Black Spirit 200. We begin with second set to zero and tone and gain at 12 o'clock. On the switcher, the left side corresponds to Black Spirit 200 under number four, and the right side is wired to the Spirit of Vintage. I'm playing this beautiful PGD wood Ford with three single coils, and I'll be using these two pickups. It sounds like the Spirit of Vintage is slightly dirtier and uh, quieter, so I will turn the gain a bit down and uh, the volume a bit up. Now that they sound closer to one another, I want to figure out which of the amps is brighter and which one is darker, so I'll be playing with the tone knob. Well, I think that's obvious, and uh, more than that, Black Spirit also has the presence control, which is now set to 12 o'clock, so in theory you can get even more brightness from it. Obviously both amps can be set to sound very clean, so now let's go back to 12 o'clock settings for the tone, and this time play with gain to find out which of the amps has more of it. I think that was pretty obvious. However, I might be able to bring Black Spirit 200 to the same level of dirtiness by tweaking the sagging. Mm -hmm. 
no success so far. Well, what if I enable the boost? I think the nano amp is still dirtier. Let's turn sagging all the way up. It did feel very close, the Spirit of Vintage still has some headroom in terms of sagging though. Well, turns out the Spirit of Vintage is indeed dirty and has a wider range of settings. That was everything I wanted to show you today. Please like this video and leave a meaningful comment below, because this might help YouTube algorithm to pick up this video and show it to more people. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why in another meaningful comment. I wish you a great day, and I'll see you in one of my next videos someday soon.